Hello folks, okay, so uh, this is water from earlier today. I had the single treat I left out for him, which is still uneaten. I just put out um, another food bowl with just a little bit of kibble. Um, it's not a lot, uh, but just enough, you know, if he does come, you know, give him something to eat. And then I have a second bowl at the door, uh, just to kind of lure him. So if he does come, he'll stick around, so he knows there's more. So we'll see if he comes tonight. I'm starting to become a little skeptical, <laughs> but, uh, okay, anyway, uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks, bye. Hey, folks, it's, uh, another day. Um, it's a little earlier than his normal lunchtime, but not too much earlier. Um, and it's later than I think when I fed him, um, early that other day. That was a couple days ago. Anyway, yeah, he did not come by last night. Food is still there. Treat is still there. Um, I actually went out into the front a couple of times early in the evening. I think I saw him. I saw uh, some random cat. It, it was dark, so I couldn't really see. It was probably him, though. And, yeah, he was hanging out in the front near the sidewalk. And it doesn't look like, you know, he's really doing anything. You know, so maybe hunting. I don't know. Um, but um, and then I went out a couple other times late in the evening. And, yeah, I couldn't find him. So, um I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's not very smart. So he basically somehow got out of the backyard, but um, is not smart enough to get back into the you know backyard the way he escaped, um, nor the the route in that I um, uh, filmed the other um, yesterday. So I think I'm gonna remove the the blockage that I added to the fence so he can get through in the tunnel and I don't have to deal with all the other uh, uh, stray and feral cats that also get in there. But um, yeah, I feel kind of bad that he's like trapped out there and yeah, but he's stupid. <laughs> yeah, he's really given up a good thing. You know, uh, you know he's getting free meals here, safe safe area and you know, he left and can't get back in um so there's a possibility he doesn't want to come back in but you know again that, that'd be just show how stupid he is because he's getting free meals and you know safe environment uh, whereas you know out in the front you know he has to deal with you know foot traffic and you know other cats and um dogs and you know all sorts of other hazards so anyway i'm gonna go and uh move the blockage and and then maybe i'm gonna go hunt for scruffy so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just removed all the blockage in that little gap. I haven't removed all the um, other planks that added under the gate. I don't think you. I don't think I've actually seen any cat go under that section. Um, it's mostly through that crack. So I'm hoping you know, that gap's wide enough for Scruffy to get through. I don't feel like moving the other stuff. 